In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a relatively simple Web 2.0 style reflection. Now what you're going to want to do first is fill your background layer with uh, black. So just hold Alt and then Delete with black as your foreground color and it'll fill your background. Then select your text tool. And I have my text on Krilly, but you can set it on how, whatever you want. And I'm going to select um, a bluish color for this. So that looks good, just click OK. And after that, I'm gonna type just whatever you want to reflect. It could be a picture, but in this case, I'm just gonna use text. And I'm just gonna type mirror. And I think I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. So there you have your text, and I'm just gonna use an inner glow to make it a little bit more shiny looking, pull off the effect a little bit better. And after you have that, what you're going to want to do is duplicate the layer. And you can just drag this text layer over here down to duplicate layer. And then you have a copy. So just hold shift and bring it down. And just set it on the bottom here of the other one. Then just come over here to the uh, rectangular marquee tool. Right click, free transform. Right click again and then click flip vertical. And so what that did was just flip it upside down. And then you're just going to hold shift again and move it up so that the bottom of the one that's right and the bottom of the one that's flipped are touching, like so. And after you have that, you're going to go to your mirror copy layer and just add a uh, layer mask. Just click to add it. And what you're going to want to do now is make sure that this foreground color is white and your background color is black and after that's done just come up here to your gradient tool and hold shift and click in between the regular layer and the flipped layer and just drag down about three-fourths of the way maybe a little more and just let go and now you can see that it's starting to reflect here but to pull off this layer correctly you're going to need to lower the opacity so I think I'm just going to put it down maybe something like 30 and there you can see that you have a good reflection now the nice thing about how I've done this tutorial is that if you wanted to change this uh, background color the reflection will still stay let me get something less obnoxious here how about a nice greenish color here like on a dark green see you can still see the reflection and it'll change no matter what color your background layer is. So that's the nice thing about this um, way of making the reflection. Um, so as always, uh, make sure you subscribe, uh, rate, and comment. And we'll see you next week. Thanks.